Hey, hello. Well, today, because I'm very original, I decided to just quickly uh, do video this a little bit of thing. It's a tier list. And yeah, four eyes. Okay, so four eyes make you like give you minus one perception, but if you find glasses, you have plus two perception, which offset minus one. This is trash because you it treat you when you have perk selection as you would always have minus one perception, it's minus one special literally. And when you find glasses and wanna take fucking perk, you still have minus one special. So good luck with that, nerd. Okay, so that's it. Which one is uh, is this build to destroy? I think this is build to destroy. So this gives you 3% more critical chance and uh, your weapon degrade faster. The weapon degradation is not problem if you're going repair or going for Raul. Even if Raul doesn't take his perk for repairment, it's still great. Because he always have this repair thing. It's 3% bonus crit uh, chance. It doesn't hurt you, but this downside is literally nothing. Okay, skilled. A skilled is absolute S tier. Uh, it gives you minus 10 experience plus fucking 5 to all skills. And if you take it, leave good springs and take it again in character remake, you will get literally plus 10. Uh, so yeah, and later you can reset it and keep plus 10 from the mountain and still, still have no downside. Okay, next is Logan Loophole. Logan loophole cap you to level 30, but you can reset it on uh, Big Mountain, which most players do because it's like the best DLC command, and it gives you two times longer drag effects. Uh, it depends if you wanna be drag reliant, but it's extremely powerful early game to be drag reliant. It uh, prevents addiction, which is ultra good, and it uh, make drugs last two times longer. Drugs include everything. And if you have, for example, companion like uh, Ross uh, Cassidy, uh, you can uh, dr drink whiskey, get two times longer effects of whiskey, bonus effects of whiskey, and bonus DT from whiskey. It's so fucking insane. Altogether stuck that uh, you know you literally gain heal. Uh, however. You might also consider doing something stupid and grind your character all the way to level 50 and then take it. I, I will never do that, but basically take it until level 30 and then reset it in, in mountain. I don't hold it all the way to level 30, it's just like something, you know, 26, 28 and just go reset in this psychological examination. Okay, small frame. Uh, it gives you plus one agility, but your bones break faster. It's uh, usually when I finish like uh, this Blue Mountain DLC, I immediately switch loophole to small frame and getting plus one special. Okay, a loose cannon is garbage. If you wanna toss spears, it's kind of fun for roleplay. Let's put it in C. It's very good for ch ch chucking spears at enemy if you have a lot of spears from Legion, but that's kind of like... Uh, throwing weapons don't fucking work. It makes you throw uh, a little bit less range, so you can harm yourself. It's not very good. A heavy hand that is pretty situational but good. It's basically very good for boxers, for pacifists, is slightly okay. Uh, personally, as pacifists, I still prefer taking Razor. But it basically gives you a bigger punch uh, for less crit chance. If you like rely on this shit, it's very good. I personally prefer good nature, however, it uh, lower your weapon skills but increase your good boy skill, which is often an notch. If you take it, you may often find yourself in problem convincing easy pit for explosives. Okay, claustrophobic is kind of garbage. It gives you minus one in indoors and plus one outdoors. So majority of the times when you wanna have bonus special in my opinion is indoors because it gives you the speed check chances, it gives you bonus luck, bonus intelligence. 
And this unlock additional dialogues or other options that you might want to have indoors. So claustrophobic kind of works in this favor. Being outdoors, however, is often when you like are in combat. A lot of areas are considered outdoors. So I don't like it, but I'm not saying it completely worth, uh, worthless. I kamikaze is trash. I completely forgot what kamikaze does. I, I'm very sorry, I need that. Uh, oh no, plus 10 action points. So you have 100 action points. Uh, you don't need this. Uh, no matter what the side is. This is Horder, right? It's, it's uh, official. Horder. Hot blooded Horder. Uh, don't like it. Bonus carry weight, but you need to carry a lot. You might, uh, you, as you see, see is you might find use for it, but I don't like it. Okay, early beard is insanely good if you are willing to wait, but it's kind of inconvenient. So maybe B, maybe B, but here. Okay, this is trigger discipline, right? Fuck. Uh -huh. Hey, okay. can we go? Oh, it's fun. It's roleplay. Wild West and it is roleplay per time. I'm not sure if I should give it S because I don't like it. Majority of Wild West and events piss me off. I like some of them, but most of them piss me off. In my opinion, you could take Wild Wasteland before you leave Good Springs. Uh, pass Doc Mitchell speed checks uh, to get bonus steam packs and bonus medicine. Find hat, take hat, and then reset it forever. Uh, but some people really like it, like bonus content, bonus uh, events, like playing in different ways. So I'm not saying this, but this is hot blood that I kind of forgot what it does. Damage when uh, when you get the damage, you take you deal more damage, but you have penalty to agility and fucking perception. It's with wrench or with every weapon. Hot blooded. Uh, I never used it honestly. Okay, you since it's with every weapon, it automatically jump here because you can have it for melee, which make it very good. You often in melee combat uh, get to this uh, point where uh, I, since I dislike it, I'm sorry. So let's move again. So trigger discipline have no real downsides, even if you end up. Losing durability in very good weapon early, you found. Uh, you honestly, you don't even need weapon. Like, what you need weapon? Loot map is like only unique knife or chance knife, but you can repair chance knife with combat knives, so I would not complain too much. What weapon you need to repair often when I have it? I never. Never needed anything, maybe Christine a sniper rifle or something like this. Here's the recon sniper rifle. These things are kind of a weapon that keep. Keep here, but normally build to destroy it have no downside, so there is this. A skillet can be taken, taken multiple times, increasing your fucking skill points each time you take it. A Vithod unofficial patch, of course. I play Vithod unofficial patch because I prefer it. Logan will call again, uh, literally, drag abuse all the way. Insanely powerful, especially with things like Day Tripper Turbo and Camel of Mojave and uh, Whiskey uh, Sharon Cassidy or something like this. Very good. And there is Small Frame Bones special. It's, it doesn't deserve. S tier, but it's, it has almost no downside because once you break an notch bones and notch times, you get them harder, and this harder bones perk 
uh, offset penalty from Malfoy. So you lose nothing in result, and you have bonus special. Great. Okay, go, go, go next. Good nature, you get fucking plus bonus to all the good fucking skills, and minus to uh, shit like throwing. Uh, shit like guns, or melee, or unarmed. Uh, it's not perfect, but it has a lot of bonuses for nearly not on sites and wild wasteland. Some of the events in wild wasteland can give you any guns. Maybe you can find good use for it. It's mostly for fun, but it's an much fun to take it. Okay, let's go next with early beard. Uh, so early beard, if you are willing to wait, it has no downsides. It can be used everywhere. It's plus two to special. However, this plus two to special doesn't count for uh, for perks. Doesn't count for implants. It's mostly good for casino or something like this. It also increases your carry weight, so you could potentially wait and fast travel. Yeah, heavy handed, it's just this blunt damage type of build. From melee, I don't like it, but I see potential, I use it a few times. Fast shot is the same, you you have worse aim with weapons, but you shoot fast enough to not, not bother. Alright, this is for spear throwing. It's only good if you wanna use throwing weapons and nobody wants to use them, and also can, you can damage yourself with dynamite because you cannot throw it far enough. No, not very good, can be offset with perk, it's not very bad too. So harder is bad, but bonus carry weight is very good. Uh, this kamikaze, this... No, this is hot blooded. Oh, this is hot blooded is nice, yeah, never mind. But you need to lose, uh, lose HP. So it's a rather critical situation because you don't want to casually walk in below 50 HP. Whatever you can. But... Uh, it, maybe it's fucking reverse. You think it should be reversed like this? I don't like fast shot as much, but it's good. A bot her like in this could be better category because you see, fast shot is mostly good if you use VATS. I, I don't use VATS at all. So for me, majority of VATS perks are garbage. I just dislike VATS, I, so when perk is more useful in VATS than it would be normally, I dislike it. So Kamikaze literally would be F tier for me, if not this, and the fact that it has some fucking bonus. Yeah, that will be a final tier list, I don't know if I explain properly my way of thinking, but all this up to B tier are premium choices, the rest is more roleplay choices, this is fucking trash. Don't take it even if you wanna, if, even if you walk, like permanently walk with glasses. The game will just not treat you well if you take it, it's just... It's just unfair, because if it, this would let you off, uh, offset like requirements for perks, it would immediately go to B, because uh, you could take uh, glasses to just offset fucking perk requirement and be on your way, bonus special when you need perk. Not perfect, but at least has usage. When it's minus one to taking perks, no matter if you have glasses or not, it's painful. Uh, have a good day and see you.